Coach Hibbs, after uh, another good ball game, five to two, a win over uh, over Rhode Island, and we'll just start with Johnny Hamilton. Uh, this guy was your closer for the last couple of years. He's been a really good bullpen guy for you. You've you've kind of molded him into a starter, which started way back last summer and into the August period, building his arm back up. He threw a complete game a couple of weeks ago. You get another one out of him today, which serves so many purposes for you. Just uh, what that effort means to the club moving forward this week. You kind of summed it up right there. That's. It, 100% correct. Uh, my son Tyson and I actually went out to dinner last night and, and we saw Johnny and his, his brother that plays football at Iowa and his mom and dad. And, you know, we sit down to eat and Johnny's drinking his water and he's eating a good meal and obviously getting prepared, you know, like he needs to for the day starts. He knew it was going to be hot and can't say enough good things about him. He's, he's worked his tail off. He's, he's gotten himself in great shape physically. He takes care of his body. Uh, and he competes. You know, his family's a very athletic family. His dad played football in West Virginia, and, and they just they get it as a family. And, and you know, I can't say enough good things about him. Not only this start, but, you know, the start he had his, on senior day when he graduated was outstanding. The start at St. Louis against a really good offensive team that, that, you know, we were in position to win that game and just couldn't really push across another run or two. And, you know, he set the tone. You know, he really did set the tone. We got a run early, which I thought allowed us to relax a little bit. And, you know, we're just trying to stay one run ahead of the teams we're playing. Um, we talked a little bit about the defense yesterday. Today you had to have a couple of plays in some key spots. Uh, Seeger at third ends up with a ground ball that most people in their first uh, first collegiate start there might, might kick that around, but he was secure. And several other guys made good plays around the infield and the outfield. You got to, you got to blaze that speed out there. What does that mean when your pitcher's dealing that well to have just one or two good defensive plays to kind of keep pushing that thing forward? Well, with those three guys in the outfield, that's about the fastest outfield we've had since we had, you know, Tilton and Shane Brown and and uh, Justin Wilson. And those three guys, you're never going to have those three, that kind of speed in those three spots probably ever again. And, uh, you know, Tony's developed into a pretty good defensive player. J.J. can really defend. Mike Green's always been able to defend. You know, the other thing it allows us to do is it gets Dunnigan in the game at first. And Dunnigan's, you know, he's a good defensive player at first. I mean, he really he saves a lot of errant throws at times, and, and he moves around all right, and, and he's really a good defensive player. So it's kind of multiple. I thought Lang did a really good job with Johnny. You know, I thought he was good. He, he blocked the ball well and did the things he needed to do. Um, again, just a, just a really good team effort. Uh, two, two last questions for you. First of all, uh, Elwood seems to be hot. He's a guy you just can't strike out. He's always making contact, and a lot of times when he's when he's down on it, he's going to drop singles all over the place, and that allows you to kind of move him around and score some runs. And then you mentioned Lang, getting him back, not just from a defensive standpoint. I know he's still a little bit rusty offensively, but the ability for you to change your lineup around because you have another piece back in, it's like being able to recruit from your own bench, getting him back this late in the season. How do those two guys, what do they mean so far this week uh, in the tournament? Well, it's just good to get them back out there. You know, I mean, they're, it's just good to get them back out there. And, and we still don't have a whole lot of options off the bench. You know, the guys that we've got over there, we have confidence in and we, we're not afraid to use them. Uh, you know, we've just tried to balance our lineup out that way. If they, if they go to the bullpen, they're going to have to face, you know, a right or left-handed hitter. They're not going to be able to sit out there and face three left-handed hitters in a row or three right-handed hitters in a row. And, and that's been a pretty good formula for us here, you know, the last month, month and a half. And, and if, you know, if our, if our small guys, you know, little guys keep getting on top of the ball and we get production out of our middle-of-the-order guys, um, I like our chances. But we we got to keep playing. You know, we can't get we can't get too far ahead of ourselves. We got, you know, Rhode Island. We have tremendous respect for them. We knew we were going to get their best shot, and that's the fifth time we've played them in the tournament. I think the fifth time we played them in the second round or later, and we've won all five, which is just unbelievable against the kind of program that they have, as well coached as they are. That's that's about impossible to do that. Uh, but we did, and now we get another really tough opponent and in a, in a program, you know, that, that we have a lot of respect for with Xavier. Yeah, a team that you also played during the regular season like Richmond, and both of those series were really good from a baseball standpoint, really close series. So anything goes tomorrow. Friday noon will be the first game of the day, uh, Friday noon game. Hopefully more fans will come out. They've been great here, these 130 games. Uh, shout out to the fans. Friday, take the day off. Come out here, please. <laughs> I mean, the more we can get and the louder we can get, and again, the, the, the fans have been really good to this point. We need to dial it up about five or six more levels here tomorrow. And, uh, you know, I'm pleading, I'm begging you, please, you know, get out here and support us. we got a beautiful stadium. These kids have played their tails off all year. 
and uh, go Niners. Thanks, Coach, and uh, thanks, for the, thanks for the fans for coming out thus far this week. This is the reason we host right here, to get you folks in to watch us play. Yes, it is. Thanks a lot.